Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here as a recording of this Wednesday, May 4th, already running into a little bit of a, a hiccup travel-wise for today, but it'll work out. I have basically lost my little packet of about six to seven batteries that I have for the Canon G7X that I'm recording this on. Not really a huge ordeal, except for the fact that the battery life on these doesn't really last too long. So I usually go between two and three a day filming these episodes. So I'm gonna have to find a place to purchase those batteries. There is a Best Buy about 15 minutes south of here. I am staying at this hotel I've just checked out next to the Oakland, California airport. I have a flight at 5 p.m. to fly to Seattle. And this will be the first time ever that I've also left my vehicle, my car, at an airport. And during my tenure in Seattle, I will have a rental car. And then I will fly back at some point, get my car here, and then drive to the next destination. So that's the first time I've ever done that. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. I looked up and they do have long-term spots at the airport for rental cars but the first order of business today is to go down and see if best buy has the batteries i need for the canon g7x mark ii and i need to buy two or three of those so that's the first process also right next to the airport is the oakland coliseum today is game three of the series of not all the oakland a's at home tampa bay rays wearing an appropriate t-shirt sporting tropicana another stadium that a lot of people do not like a lot of people do not like the Oakland Coliseum, so I felt it appropriate to wear this. Not gonna really film a lot of the game. In fact, last night, I went to game two. Didn't even take my camera in, didn't document it at all. Just enjoyed it with my own eyes. I will be departing out of California, going to Seattle today. We got some business to take care of first. Join me. It's always something, but it always keeps it interesting. At least I didn't lose my camera, and at least I didn't use the little mechanism that plugs the SD card into the bottom of my phone to add it, because that would have been really bad. Join me, shall you? Every problem can be solved. Piping hot caffeinated beverage will make everything okay as well. Bet you can hear a plane landing. That's how close I am to the airport. In a second, are these? Are those petunias? Also, I'm grateful to still have the two chargers, so I don't have to purchase more chargers, and one of the chargers is another battery, so I do have two batteries. One that's not, well, one that is charged in the charger, and then also one that's charged in my camera. So I just probably need to buy another one or two just to be on the safe side. But worst case, I got two. So it's gonna be, it'll be good. Now I have a, I have a lot more excitement in my bones knowing that I have two batteries instead of just the one that's in there. That gives me some peace of mind. All right, took about 25 minutes, a little bit of a traffic jam over here to Union Landing. Probably gonna also need to get an SD, an extra SD card, and some a little packet to put the batteries I'm gonna buy and the SD card in to just carry around with. All right, that's accomplished. A little brown bag in it as well. These are $49.99 each. SD card I think was $39.99. And no luck on finding a little baggie to carry them around in. So I'll make I'll I'll make do. And the price up not too bad, but it's a kind of a weird off-brand which sometimes they don't charge as well, but you know, it's all they had. It was the last two that was on the shelf. Went with the Extreme Plus sand disc there. Might not even have to use the extra SD card. I just like to have one on me at all times, just in case. And then these are the refuel. I don't really like refillable ones, but it's the replacement for the Canon NB13L, which is the camera battery model I needed. But it's really hard to get Canon batteries without ordering them online anywhere. They always sell like these strange refuelable off-brand ones. All right, now about 20 minutes back up north. Had to veer off. Classic car, is that an El Camino? It is. Back up to the stadium. I should make it in time for first pitch. be able to stay for the entire game first pitch is at 12:37. my flight boards at 4:30. i don't know how the oakland airport is 
as far as how early I need to get there for. So I'm gonna play it by ear. Current time at this moment, noon. First pitch at 12.37. As stated, my flight departs at 4.30. I don't think Oakland's gonna be bad, bad as going over to San Francisco and flying out. Be a little more mellow. Won't be anything like LAX or Orlando International or anything like that. So I might be able to get there an hour before, so I might make it to the end of the game. However, in a streak of incredible luck when I ended up showing up here to the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum Ricky Henderson Field the Oakland Coliseum if you will I noticed that I found the little battery pack that I had I cannot believe I drove 20 miles south of here and then 20 miles north back up and the battery pack was wedged in the little top luggage rack of my car so now I have extra batteries I have the ones I had found I was stressed out Pretty much over and I cannot, it's just amazing the fact that it did not end up flying off the top of my car. So I am pretty dang happy right now. What are the odds? I found it. How did it not fly off the top of my car? the series and this is just a nice little add-on to me finding my batteries and everything so it worked out pretty dang good that is what I'm looking for daily parking I can't pay hourly because so I'm gonna be gone a series of days so daily parking is what I'm looking for I'm gonna leave my car here for a while this doesn't seem like too bad of a deal $24 daily mat or $24 a day that's pretty good also, take a look at this. Futuristic looking. I'm getting Steve Martin vibes. Walking from the, well, it's not a rental car lot. Usually I rent cars when I go to different airports. I mean, I'll be doing that today when I arrive in Seattle. But I've never parked a car daily parking. I know it doesn't seem like much, but new experiences. I'm also flying an airline I've never been on before. Alaska Airlines. That's a new one. They fly direct, no layovers, from this airport to Seattle, from Oakland. I consider flying out of, I think it's SFO, San Francisco International, but that would have been kind of a pain. I didn't even go to that side of the bay. I didn't even go across to San Francisco on this very short tenure in the East Bay. Just all on the Oakland side. And this is good advice. I did lock my car, I took my keys, but keeping my stuff safe. The lots are patrolled regularly. Got the California state flag there, also the Port of Oakland flag and the US flag. I will be leaving one state into another. A little gusty today. Maybe there'll be some exciting turbulence on this, this flight. Okay, I think I made the right choice. This place is not a beehive of activity, and I should have, well, first impression walking in here. No issue making my flight. There's not a lot of people in here. Okay, that was very, very quick. Took my shoes off, my belt off, my laptop out of the bag. I put it back in now, and just kind of went through in a matter of moments. Did not take long at all. I just gotta follow this stripe here over to gate eight is where I need to be. Gate 8. See if I can look out the window and see an Alaskan Air plane. Oh, there's one over there. Way over there. That is not the one I will be boarding, but there is one way over there. Of course, I've walked away from the gate I'm supposed to be at. Mine hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to fly an airline I've never been on before. See what this Alaska Airlines is all about. Granted, it's only a two hour flight, but it's still 
still an experience. Okay, I was just informed, went up to the information station over there for getting on board and they said that they're not required, but I went ahead and grabbed one just in case. Probably won't put it on, but if I need to, you know, I'm not sure if I'll have an empty seat next to me or if it'll be a full flight. You know, just comfort level, I'll just have it just, just in case. All right, there's my plane right there. It was tough to get a good angle of my plane. This is really the only window that looks out across the entry point here. All right, heading down the ramp, I am in seat 20A. Group number C is making quite a little bit of racket. So they're the third group that they let on, so I'll probably be around the middle of the plane. And I always I always just bring carry-ons with this. I never do checked luggage. Eleven seven two Seattle proudly operated by Horizon Air. Our flight today is going to be one hour and 30 minutes from takeoff to touchdown. We'll be cruising at an altitude of 36,000 feet. We had a pretty nice ride coming down. We expect the same going back. Seattle's reporting 64 degrees under cloudy skies. Yeah, I am We've towards the back of the plane. I'm a second seat from attention. the back. And they talk, it's a privilege to serve you today. Once again, welcome aboard. Take a look at this guy. We're ready to go. Please He's ensure cellular devices are turned off or in airplane mode at this based time. Based out of Seattle. Sub pop, the band, the band label. That's interesting. All bags and larger items, including laptops, should be completely under the seat in front of you. And smaller devices should be in airplane mode and held or secured. We hope you enjoy our one hour and 30 minute flight to Seattle.
which is the camp. It's, it's kind of cold though. Or overhead. Smaller devices must be held or secured. Pause in your seatbelt and remain seated for the rest of the flight. We're going to be landing very soon. closed. Going into a cloud. Uh, cityscape below me now. Getting into the suburbs. The skyline over there. Downtown. Well, I see some trains down there. Also see the freeway. And a bunch of planes. We're getting close to the runway. Alright, there's the control tower. About to land. And runway. About to have a touchdown right here. The wing. This is the pro oh, there it goes. There it is. Take it out of airplane mode. With our baggage service guarantee, your luggage will be at baggage claim within 20 minutes of our arrival at the gate, or you'll receive a discount or miles towards a future flight. For information about connecting flights, check the monitors inside the terminal or use the Alaska Airlines mobile app. Our pilots will turn off the seatbelt sign when it is safe to get up. Before exiting the aircraft, make sure you have all of your belongings. To help maintain a comfortable cabin temperature, please ensure your air vent is open. We will be using a ramp to exit the aircraft. Watch your step and head directly to the terminal. Smoking is not allowed. On behalf of the employees at Alaska Airlines, a proud member of the One World Alliance, we would like to thank you for flying with us today. That's a park. This flight is almost completed. Next train in 15. Up, oh, it's arriving. It arriving. has clear the doors. arrived. Doors closing. Oh. Please stand clear. Okay. Please stand Please clear stand of the doors. I'm the only one on this one. There's other people in the next compartment, but not in this one. Oh, take it off. Alright, I was 
just told, go up this escalator. And then there will be a big blue shuttle that will take me over to the facilities that have the rental cars. There's a directory here too, in case I get confused. Ooh, look at this. Very decorative. The next stop will be at the rental car facility. Thank you for riding with us today. This is quite the impressive setup of all of them, stretching all along here. There's hardly anybody in here, but it's huge. All right, got that all taken care of. Got my paperwork. Now to go down more escalators. <laughs> to pick up the car. Escalator time. And this is my pony. Well, my automobile. My car. Really, it's not a pony. It's a figure of speech. I should also point out on my car earlier, and when I had the when I had lost my battery pack yesterday, the last spot I went to yesterday, my battery was starting to run out of steam, and I must have taken the battery pack, changed the battery in the camera, put it on top of the car, and it must have slid from here or over there underneath the luggage rack and I drove around all evening last night and today during the day and it had wedged in I'm using this this car as an example but my car which is not even in this state anymore because I'm now in Seattle but yeah wedged over there how the heck did I not lose that? And it just goes to show that sometimes, most of the time, almost all the time, there are a few exceptions that it does not. Things do not work out. But usually things just work out. Did not comprehend or think about how that could be stuck and wedged in there. I don't even know why I didn't look when I went in the car. I searched the floorboards, searched underneath the vehicle, I searched the glove box, I searched in my luggage, I went back into my hotel room, even after I had checked, I had to go back in, so I had to go back in, I forgot something. Went back in the room, looked underneath the desk, looked underneath the bed, looked all in the little nooks and crannies, could not find it, gave up on it, drove southbound from Oakland down 20 miles, 15 miles, to the Best Buy, bought it, bought some extras. Now I have an overload of batteries, which I'm not complaining about, and it was until I met my friend Alex at Oakland Stadium, he took, the, he took the train in, the BART, they call it, and was explained to him, you know what I think, maybe yesterday I put it on top of the car and as I was driving it just flew off. And I pointed over it as an example that that's what happened. And I was like, holy crud, it's right there. He was laughing hysterically. <laughs> ah, it's a good day. It feels good out here. I thought it was going to be colder. I thought it would be colder here in Seattle. I thought I was going to regret not putting my hoodie on when I exited the plane. All right, the sun is going down. I'm gonna go check into my hotel and maybe get a, a bite to eat. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is, I was just up in the skies. Those very skies right there. In fact, that cloud was not the one I went through. The vlog is over.